And one final thing. When you hear that door slam, you'll know I'm in there with that truck seal. And for all you English teachers out there, seal the tape. Here we go. Came out, the exhaust is moving out like it would have been if it had the exhaust. It had the aluminum foil in there. So I'm going to go shut the car off. Now, I sat in there for a while, just briefly, with all the windows up. I didn't feel faint. And thinking the way you people would on the scientific method, um, I didn't stay in there long because it was obvious without the truck started, there couldn't possibly be anything dangerous coming out of the truck. Um, then when I started it, I didn't feel faint. I didn't feel uh, dizzy or anything of the sort. I didn't feel like I was falling asleep or had any pains. And I got out of the truck and saw that the, the aluminum foil had flown out of the uh, exhaust pipe. The exhaust was flowing just like it would with a truck that had never had the um, aluminum foil in it to start with. And you believers in the scientific method would uh, be saying, well, there, there you are. I've got to reject this hypothesis because I don't see any danger to human life. So you would wrongly reject the uh, hypothesis that the minute I put the aluminum foil in there, the instant I put it in, that I interfered with the truck in a way so as to endanger human life. And you do this trial several times, and when you were done, you, that's the conclusion you would reach. Now, let's do it again using the story method. The story method, as I said, you don't need to waste your time with a hypothesis, and you don't need to waste your time with trials, and you don't need an experimental control. Your starting point is your conclusion. So my conclusion is that the moment, the instant I put the aluminum foil into the exhaust pipe, I've interfered with this truck in a manner so as to endanger human life. Now, how do I prove that on the story method? It's simple. I just try and find some stories that back up my conclusion. So here's the first story. Because some of you aren't convi convinced of this, and you've been so indoctrinated into the scientific method of uh, stuff that, that you just can't accept what I'm about to say. But the moment you hear the stories, I think you'll understand. Okay, here's the first story. I know somebody, and this person I know, he heard about a story where some person somewhere, the guy who told me the story didn't say where, but some person somewhere was inside of an automobile with the engine running and the automobile was inside of an enclosed garage and that person died. So aren't you start, starting to see what I'm saying? That person died of carbon monoxide poisoning. And so I think now it's starting to come into focus that because that person died of carbon monoxide poisoning inside of the car with the engine running inside of an enclosed garage, that means that the instant I put some aluminum foil into this exhaust pipe, that I interfered with the truck in a manner so as to endanger human life. Now, if you're smart and you haven't been overly um, uh, uh, 
put upon by these teachers trying to teach you the scientific method, you would see already that I'm right and that, you're, and that any conclusion you reached on the scientific method is just useless, not accurate, and, and uh, um, not, not uh, telling you what the, what the real truth is, as, as I've just shown with that experiment.